Hi, I'm Patrick and I'm the Product Manager for Opera Dragonfly. In this video I want to give you a very early look at some of the features that the Dragonfly team has been working on. Now usually we'd release these as an experimental build, but some of the features actually require some changes to the underlying browser architecture itself. And as these changes haven't even made it into an Opera Next build at this point, I'll be using an internal build of Opera that we call a Gogi build. Uh, you'll notice that the interface itself is very Spartan to say the least, but we use these builds internally just to test core functionality before any of the UI is applied. The first feature I want to show you is Pretty Print. For this example, let's look at Opera's website. If I go to Opera Dragonfly's scripts panel, you can see that the site uses a minified version of jQuery. Minified scripts are great, particularly on production sites, but by their very nature they're not easy to then analyse and debug. Let's hit the Pretty Print button. The script reloads, and is now formatted in a much more human readable form. Now I could actually get some work done here, setting breakpoints, etc. Of course the script itself may still be quite difficult to understand, as minifiers often make the source a lot more obfuscated, by shortening variable names for instance, but at least this gives us a much better starting point if we wanted to debug or analyse such a script. The next feature is specifically intended to ease JavaScript debugging. In short, this will enable you to see, at a glance, all the values returned by any function as you step through your code in the debugger. Here's a rather artificial bit of sample code to illustrate the concept. We've got a bunch of trivial functions, and our script is stopped at a breakpoint here, just before these functions are all called. If I now step over this breakpoint, you see that on the next step, in this case, on the explicit debugger statement, my inspection panel on the right hand side shows me all the functions that were executed in that step, in the order in which they were executed, from the most recent to the oldest in descending order, and what the individual return values were. Currently, you'd have to step into each individual function or throw loads of console logs from within each function if you wanted to get that sort of overview of what's happening inside your script, so this should make a coder's life a little bit easier. You can also click on the return values to jump directly to the line of code where the value returned to and even click on the functions themselves to go to the point in your script where that function returns from. The third feature I want to showcase is an improvement in our remote debugging workflow. Opera Dragonfly was the first developer tool to offer remote debugging all the way back in 2008, and the feature has been working quite well for developers. But one of the main annoyances has always been setting up the initial connection, which requires finding out the development machine's IP address and then manually entering that in the Opera debug dialog on the device in order to establish a connection. For this demonstration, I'm not only using a Gogi build of our desktop browser, but I'm also running the same build using the smartphone profile, effectively giving me a small Gogi version of the Opera mobile emulator. I start off as usual by setting Opera Dragonfly to listen to any incoming connections. Now if I go over to my mobile device, you'll see that I still get the option to manually enter the IP address and port number. But here's the clever part, any instance of Opera Dragonfly that's waiting for incoming connections will also broadcast its details via UPnP. So from my mobile device, I can now simply find my debugging machine and connect to it without the hassle of manual IP addresses. In this early development stage, each instance of Opera Dragonfly just shows up in the UPnP dialog with its IP address. But before we release this, we want to show the actual name of the machine that it's running on as well. So there we go, a very look at some of the concepts that the Opera Dragonfly team has been working on. Now we can't make any promises as to when you're going to start to see these features appearing in an experimental build because of the underlying core browser changes that are required. Nonetheless, we're very excited to be showing you these features at this early stage and we'd really welcome your feedback and suggestions. Thank you.